welcome to Coffee or Champagne. Today's edition is all about basics for clothing and for makeup. We're going to call this segment a perfect 10. Before you go out shopping for all your fall pieces, we're going to take you through the 10 basic pieces that could be in your closet already or that you can build on before you go out and add in that Cabernet colored skirt or the new handbag. The same is true with makeup. I'm going to talk about 10 basic items that you probably want to have in your collection and ways that you can add different colors for the different seasons. Okay, so the 10 items that you probably want to have in your makeup collection are, I made a list of the top 10. So the first one is foundation. And foundation comes in many different forms. You can get a tinted moisturizer, you can get a liquid foundation, you can get a cream foundation. So really select a foundation that's right for your skin type and that way you'll have something that will provide you with coverage so that you're starting out with an even canvas. Um, I think I've talked about this before, but one of my favorite tinted moisturizers is by Laura Mercier. I also love her oil-free foundation, and there are so many other foundations on the market. If your budget allows, I highly suggest going for a higher-end foundation because that's something that really can break your skin out if it doesn't work from a drugstore or something like that. So if you can't afford it, Put a little bit more money into the foundation that you use. So the second thing is concealer that I would recommend having. Now whether you need to conceal spots such as pimples or you want an under eye concealer just to brighten your eyes or you want something really light that you can highlight, I suggest getting some type of concealer. So concealers come in different formats. For under the eyes, I like the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer. Um, and I put that under my eyes as well, sometimes with a corrector. You can also get the um, lighter pen type concealer highlighter duos. This one is by Chanel, it's called the Eclat Lumiere, and it's really light. It comes off with a brush, and you can highlight areas, you can put it under your eyes to brighten. And then if you really need some concealing, you may want to try a stick if you have any spots or that type of thing. The third thing I would recommend is a powder. If you are using a liquid foundation, a lot of times it's great to set it with a powder. Um, I don't have it here, but one of my favorites is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, some people really like the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. There are mineralized foundations that you can use that are in powder form. So some type of powder I would recommend to set your foundation, especially if you've got oil or combination skin. The next thing is a good bronzer. Bronzer or blush, I'm kind of grouping those two together. I really like the matte bronzers because I think you can use those to um, sculpt any areas, to contour your cheeks, on your forehead, underneath your chin. So two of my favorites are Smashbox, the Suntan Matte Bronzer, and the Benefit Hula Bronzer. These are both matte bronzers the Hula is a bit darker, and I like to use that one in the summer. As far as blushes go, that's where if you want to have a little bit more shimmer, I prefer shimmer in the blushes over the bronzers. So with blushes, you just want to get a color that, you know, almost when you would flush on your own, so maybe after you exercise, something that would match that is a great one to have for all year round. Um, one that I've really been loving for this fall is the blush by um, Lorac. It's called Soul and it's got some sparkle in it. I have it today and I really like this one. Um, the next thing, and I highly recommend this, if you don't own an eye primer, it is one of the best investments you're gonna make. Eye primers are used to make your eyeshadow last longer and also to prime your lids to cover up any little veins you might have and it helps with creasing and that type of thing. There are different types of eye primers on the market as well. Um, Too Faced makes one, Urban Decay makes one, and the ones that I love the best are the MAC Paint Pots, and they come in a bunch of different colors. But if you're going just to get one, I would recommend getting a neutral color. This one is MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which is a nude pink color. There's also Soft Ochre, which is more of a yellow-based nude color. So I highly recommend, recommend these because you can use them with any type of eyeshadow, whichever color you're going with. The next thing is eyeshadow. And these, anybody makes eyeshadow and it's just your preference, whether you like the glitter in it, whether you like a matte, whether you like it 
you know, a satin finish. And so with eyeshadows, I think some of the drugstore brands make just as good as some of the high-end brands. So, you know, MAC is one of my favorite eyeshadow brands, and I would recommend getting a couple of neutral colors. Also, Revlon makes some great palettes that you can um, use. Revlon makes great eyeshadows, so you don't have to spend a ton of money on eyeshadows. The next thing is eyeliner, and there are a bunch of different types of eyeliners as well. There's the traditional pencil eyeliners, and then you have the gel eyeliners, and then you can also have the liquid eyeliners. Um, the pencil eyeliners, one of my favorites is by Urban Decay. It's the 24-7 pencils. I really feel like they stay on. They're creamy, but they stay on a long time. Also, if you're looking for a drugstore brand, I like the Prestige Total Intensity Eyeliner. And I would recommend getting one in black or brown or a dark gray, just so that you have the eyeliner. If you are going for a gel eyeliner, which these stay on a really long time, I think Bobbi Brown makes one of the best gel eyeliners. And also, if you're going to the drugstore, Wet n Wild, and I believe it's Maybelline, has a good gel eyeliner as well. The next thing is mascara, and I don't think I have any mascaras with me, but this is also where you can save money. You don't have to go out and spend the $25, $30 on the Dior mascara. There are some really good drugstore brands. L'Oreal Voluminous is one of my favorites. If you want to spend a little bit more, I love Benefit Bad, Bad Lash. So mascaras is also a place where you can cut down on costs because really you need to throw it out every three months anyway or it dries up. Okay, so the next thing, the next two are lip products. And the first one is a lip liner. And I don't think I brought one, but one of my favorite lip liners is by NYX. And I think they make a great lip liner for the price. You may not need a lip liner, but if you have just a neutral one, you can enhance your lips just a little bit by going just to the edge of your lip without looking like a clown. And also it serves as a, um, a base for your lipstick or your lip gloss. So I like having just a neutral lip liner. One of my favorites is NYX. It's called, the color is natural. And the next one is lipsticks or lip glosses, whatever your preference is. They come in all different formulas. There are matte lipsticks, there are sheer lipsticks, there's lip glosses with sparkle, um, whatever your preference. And I feel like you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on lipstick and lip glosses too, that you can find some really good products at the drugstore. One of my favorite lipstick brands from the drugstore is Revlon. And I think they make some great lipsticks and they don't have the funny smell that some of the drugstore brands have. So that really is it in terms of 10 basic products. So really it's a foundation that matches your skin, a concealer, a powder if you need to set it, a bronzer or blush, an eye primer that's really gonna hold your eyeshadow in place, different colored eyeshadows, an eyeliner, mascara, lipstick or lip gloss, and then lip liners. So if you get the basics in these, then when it comes to the different seasons, you can just add, for example, over the summer, you can add a coral lip color. Go out and buy a new coral colored blush. Um, with the fall coming up, you can pick out a new fall colored lipstick and a new blush and a couple new eyeshadows, and you don't have to go out and buy everything all new. So I hope that helped when it comes to the 10 basic makeup items. Okay, your perfect 10 pieces. Four colors, white, gray, black, and brown. We can pretty much build off of anything from there. So if you're gonna invest in a more expensive item, make it these 10 pieces. First of all, we're gonna start with a gray t-shirt. Everyone remembers Izzy. Izzy is wearing a $12 Gap t-shirt. So again, taking it with a $200 skirt, a leather belt, and a cashmere Brooks Brothers wrap sweater. Easily, you can mix and match all these pieces together. They don't all have to be gray on top, black on the bottom, and vice versa. Or you can even go with a more fashion-forward gray piece that you still will use later in your wardrobe. This one has dolman sleeves that actually kind of lift up later that would look good here as well if you weren't comfortable with the low uh, neckline. But luckily this year, the wrap sweater is still in. Your basic here is the gray t-shirt. Another staple must-have for the wardrobe is the white Oxford. 
has been around for 100 years. My husband has probably 20 of these. They work for us all the time. Great belted in. This would look great tucked in with the leather belt again. White Oxford. The black legging also can be substituted for a black pant, depending if you're looking for casual or dressy. But the black would look great as a legging with the boots that I have on. Lots of different ways to do the black pants. That would be your third basic. Fourth basic is going to be the pencil skirt. The pencil skirt has been around since the Mad Men era and still is in, thank God. And it comes in every color from the gray to the brown or the black. The black is probably your best investment just because it doesn't wear very well. It doesn't wear terribly. You will always have it and it will never be out of style. The other piece, similar to what I have on, is your black basic dress. I've told Kim before I can do a whole segment on the little black dress. This one is just a knit dress for the fall. The one I have on, I guarantee most of you have in your wardrobe. It's just a strapless sheath dress. I've paired it with a grayish scarf, that being item number five from our must-have basics. Remember the pashminas that were so great that we all wore around ourselves around the year 2000? It now is going to come back reincarnated as a scarf. So scarves are fabulous right now. Going through your wardrobe, pull out that pashmina that you had before. This one, obviously, if I was on an airplane, I could double this as a pashmina if I was freezing. But in a neutral tone, a grayish, this is more of a grayish purple. This one is more uh, gray with a hint of lavender. But it pulls different looks together, and it definitely pulls my old school dress. I think I've had this dress for eight to ten years. But it gives it a new, fresh look. And same with the wrap sweater. The wrap sweater or blazer will be your next basic item in any color. And this is where you probably do want to spend a little more money than your Gap t-shirt because this is going to last forever. I have had this from my St. John years. Back in the year 2000, I got this. And this is great because with this season, you can add in the scarf that we just talked about or the cute little fur stow that goes over the top. There's lots of different ways that you can make your wrap sweater work. One of our other basic items, Spanx. I could do a whole segment on Spanx alone as well. Great opaque tights. These are even better because they reverse to brown. So when I'm traveling, this is a great quick wash. Flip it over, do brown or black. And of course, the last two items, and I am going to say because I am such a shoe handbag girl, that's also where you want to spend the bulk of your money because a great pair of black leather boots or pumps will last you forever and they never go out of style. The boots I have on now, these are, were last year's and again, back this year, but are we thinking these are gonna be around in five years? No, I probably wouldn't say that's where you're gonna go with your basics, but it updates a basic outfit I've had forever. And the last must have for your 10 items is a ladylike handbag. Ladylike handbags are so popular this year. Thank you again, Kate Middleton. I've given a couple shout outs to her now. But this is, I'm not saying everyone's gonna have a Louis Vuitton, but this classic handled ladylike bag looks great with everything. The colors work. And again, for my St. John Day's old school black bag, just pulls together the ladylike outfit for the fall. I guarantee if you take stock with what you have in your wardrobe right now and pull out everything black, brown, and gray, you will have the staple basic pieces to get started and not spend a fortune this season all the great fall products. So before you go run out and stock up on all the new fall items, go ahead and take an inventory of what you already have. I guarantee in your wardrobe, if you just take the time to go through and pick out every brown, white, black, and gray piece, you will see you have all the staples that it takes to build on for that fall wardrobe and it'll save you a ton of money and time. Great. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.